I just won't explain myself for walking out on my own quiz. Yes. This has been uh, clearly what I have got is oh, a yeah. lot more fans than I thought. Right. Um, oh, I think an apology is warranted. In terms of the quiz, and mm. they thought I abandoned the ship, but I just want to explain why I did. Because I take the quiz seriously. Chua and I meet once a week to talk oh. about the quiz and what we're going to put in it. Uh, we do a lot of time into it, and we expect the people, the lifeliners, to take it seriously. And Chief's a cheat. So Excuse I've war- me? I've warned him. Excuse me. That's a big claim, Gary. Excuse me. Actionable. You, you want to backtrack. Did you not hear what I said? Yeah, I did hear what you I'll said, and say, you better in, bloody clarify, in case you, because that In is case rubbish. you didn't hear it, I'll that say it again. Be very careful, Chief mate. is a cheat. Because this is what he did. He's ready to club you. When Damo was looking for the answer on, um, what was the question? Now, you, now you're accusing me of Maddie being Richardson. party to the cheat, well, Gary. Damo was party to Maddie the cheat. Maddie Richardson. Chief I refute that. held fingers out. Right. And that's, and that's true, Jim. And let me tell you so what cheating. is happening. Well, go on. Damo was asked to be the lifeline. Yes. And our greatest concern are the interests of our listeners. Right. No, it's yep. not. And Damo was trying to help a gentleman answer a question. He looked to me for a little bit of assistance. And I was one out. I was going to go with 12. Yeah, I told him what my guess would have been, and he said, you know what, you might be right, and he went that way. And so, I don't regard that as cheating. I regard that as helping our listeners. Well, that, I'm, I'm happy That's to what a lifeline is all about. Happy to have your opinion. If you mention the C word again... As I said, Chief's a cheat. I will pummel you. <laughs> <laughs> so I refused to go on, as I did on a Friday, on a Saturday oh, I think when... we should take it off, Gary. Spud now. was cheating. <laughs> So I will refuse I to take that. Spud does I think cheat. Spud now becomes I don't think the quiz master. Jason too, Gary. I think you should take that. You're back. a cheat too, Dave. I think you should take that back. You're both. Chief. A, uh, You're going to get glassed in a minute. <laughs> you I actually got a plastic bottle there, so you can't. That's plastic too. Oh, I, I'm, you're going to get glass. <laughs> <laughs> that I, ain't um, plastic. I actually don't think Spud's capable of not cheating. <laughs> um, Chew, on a rare Friday night off. Uh, this is our, our two-time day, two-time night uh, premiership statistician. <laughs> Has taken the beautiful Mrs. Chew out for a romantic dinner, and uh, you don't get too many Friday nights he off, doesn't. Duke. And when you do, you're thinking Francois, maybe you know, <laughs> very romantic, uh, Mond, somewhere like that. But uh, I'm not sure. Where do you think? Go. I'll just go around the table, and then we'll find out where he is. Where would you think? I reckon he comes across a little noodle world type operation, just one of those twelve dollar ninety bowl of noodles sort of Friday nights. It's yeah, a it's big... Chewer. He's a man of the people. See, I reckon Chew is a uh, a real romantic at heart. Yep. And I think the the best way to impress a woman yep. is a home-cooked meal. You think he's I reckon he might have cooked it at home and then set up a little dining table out on the patio under the moonlight, Candle. right next to the spa. Candle. Maybe a little bit of everything. Yeah. I reckon Chew a... Oh, right. He's on to Chief might yeah. be on something, dude. Yep. Sizzler. Sizzler. Oh, <laughs> oh, he's a, just a straight operator. He won't be... Uh, are, you t- are you telling us he's going to be in the uh, tight-ass team as our status? Mr and Mrs Chew would just sit down as Sizzler. I don't think anymore, does it? It does. It does. It does. It does. Uh, Jim, where's Shua gone tonight? Smorgies. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I give him more. I think maybe downstairs at the Stoke House. I think they would have got there about <laughs> five-ish. And just, Not upstairs, guess? No, you just watch the sun what go down. He... A bit more of laid-back fare down there. Does he and come then... over the Westgate or does oh, he I stay think, at Duke's old for, territory? I think for this special well, occasion, think he I wouldn't okay. surprise me that he's done right. that. But he's on the line. And uh, Chu, where do we find you and Mrs. Chu? Good evening, uh, Gary. Uh, thanks for having me. Uh, you <laughs> find us at the... Uh, High Point uh, Shopping Centre Complex, and uh, we've just uh, been to Healthy healthy Burgers, I uh, guess. <laughs> no. The food court <laughs> at High Point Shopping Centre. The High Point Shopping Centre. This is... Uh, no I don't know, like, actually, our 17th, uh, 17 year anniversary tomorrow. As I'm working tomorrow night, we thought we'd uh, go out for some... Uh, well, like, uh, push the table out to <laughs> go on oh, a food court. shopping centre. A healthy burger in a food court for a 17-year <laughs> anniversary. <laughs> Well, I think you'd enjoy it. It's a good feed, mate. I had the, uh, the, lamb, the lamb burger, actually. Very lamb sits in the guts very well, actually. Very well, I'm not sure where High Point is. Did you think <laughs> at any stage, too, maybe perhaps that go to an actual restaurant, whether it be Noodle World, which the Warrior threw up? Yeah, no, things are a bit tight at the moment. Uh, no, fair enough, too. I uh, agree. Gary, yeah, this no, isn't going too well. No, that's right. And I don't know, that's where you and I are on the same wavelength. And these oh, other four yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this, have Jim lost touch this. with reality. They just think you can <laughs> splash it round. I agree with you. And I, I admire you for taking it. It doesn't matter where you go anyway. When you're in love, oh, listen, it, when you're in love, you don't, you can, it doesn't matter where you are, Chua. Jim, are you going to let him listen continue to, to trot this out? This is when you mentioned Francois off the top. 
And then Jacques Ramon. Jacques, Jacques Ramon, Ramon. Ramon. Two of the most exclusive yeah. restaurants Stokehouse in the world. Stokehouse upstairs. Give me, Stokehouse. Give me a beach. Give oh, me a, a, a blanket. And then I'm yeah, happy. As, as, so Chu and I are on the same page. Anyway, Chu, are uh, you sure about um, Jack Dyer winning six best and fairest? Uh, yes, I am. Why is that? Was there a controversy with the quiz? It was a couple. I had to quit halfway through because Chief was cheating with Warrior. But apart from that, we got through it all right. Uh, good. That's about the uh, was last Brownlow medalist. You weren't uh, a bit of conjecture with that yeah, question. Was, the, way, the way it was written. But anyway, we resolved it. What about dessert now for Mrs. Chu? You maybe wander down to Donut tra- King. Trampoline and grab yourself a nice <laughs> little uh, bit of vanilla sort of smoothie style. Uh, we might head back uh, back to uh, the beautiful uh, town centre and point uh, cook Gary, full of life's little treasures, <laughs> and uh, oh, might get a little uh, chocolate hedgehog and uh, a weak latte. What do you say, a hedgehog? Yeah, chocolate hedgehog. Well, you should be so lucky, mm. Chua. Now, off you go into the night. Uh, <laughs> lovely to talk to you, That's and Friday. we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, well done, Chup. <laughs> Listen to the wolf. What he tries oh, to do is no. he tries to position himself as every man when he is the most elitist individual correct. I've, I've, ever ever correct. Hey, I've ever met you. I've not said a truer word than I said about Chua. A high point. Posi- when was the last time you were at high position point, Position irrelevant. It doesn't, oh, it, that it it doesn't is. matter yeah. as long as you're holding the yeah. hands of the one you love. Yeah, that what it is? That's all it's about. Yeah, yeah, of song. Well, could be. Have yeah, well, listen to him. High Point Shopping Centre. When was the last time you drifted in there, please? Not so much High Point. Oh. Where, is oh, Where is it? Gaz? High Point is Where is it? That's the Ch- Chadston of the West out Maribyrn. there at High Point. Well, why would I go to the West? I'm an Eastern side. Are you? Well, I am. Yeah, right. So where do you drift out over there? Shopping Town. <laughs> <laughs> shopping Town. Shopping Town. Shopping Town. Oh, shopping oh, town. Oh,